We continue the special edition of Hannity, our audience of African American conservatives. Okay, black who has. Who, conservatives. Thank you. Thank yes. you. We're black. Yeah. Okay. You're killing me. You're killing me. One quick question. For everybody who says they're African American, how many of them know what tribe they're from in Africa? We're black. We're Americans. We happen to be black. That's it. Wayne. We're conservative Americans. Right there, Wayne. Yes. Go ahead. You're up. All right. Well, I think the biggest problem they've been going after Dr. Carson is because he's actually providing solutions as African American conservatives. Now, the one thing I heard him talk about the most was his health care plan. We talked about saving money from the time of birth. Right. No one, no none of our elected officials, no, Democrat or Republican, have, have brought up that. any of these kind of solutions. And I think that that's what uh, strikes the most fear in the liberal, the liberal mindset is not only is he intelligent, he doesn't yell and scream, so they can't make him a character. Very soft, yeah. very calm, and powerful, right? yeah. deals with people's Articulate. brains. Like I said, they can't make him, they can't make him a character. And you I think that's control yourself. That's right. what they, they fear the most is that you can't make him a character. They, right. right. they can't make a character of him. They don't have sound clips of him just going crazy on a stage. Right. Yeah. And so that makes that's that's a big yeah. problem right there. I, Jada, <laughs> weigh in. Well, first of all, I just want to say that I really appreciate Deneen because if it weren't for her, I wouldn't be here. Um, um, I met Deneen um, in Florida because I came to a place where I started to kind of not really, you know, I wasn't sure which direction I wanted to go. And in my own self-exploration, I realized that I, my color was not the same as my belief, meaning if I were liberal, then just because I was liberal, I should mm -hmm. believe a certain way, but I'm beginning to believe something a little bit different. So I just want to say that I appreciate everyone. And sometimes I'm not black enough, and I don't like that. Mm -hmm. I am black, and I believe very firmly in what I believe in, and that empowers me. You're also me. God's child, right? Yeah. I mean, we're all, yeah. We're all, yeah. Uh, most of us believe in God. Yes. I, 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 you spoke. I, all right, go ahead. First of all, I just want to say that I'm a man, not a color. I'm an American not an African-American. And as far as solutions, here go, here, here's a few solutions for you, Sean, as we go forward and we leave this show. We need to fight in these communities against the overregulations and the policies that are killing black people. Davis-Bacon Act, the lone remaining Jim Crow law in America has to go. The Congressional Black Caucus votes for the uh, Davis-Bacon Act. Project labor agreements, they need to go. Sean, they're discriminating against women and minorities. Guess who Obama claims he defends? Women. So at the end of the day, we need to stop preaching to the choir, and we need to go into these communities. You ask why is it that blacks have been voting Democrat for X amount of years? Guess what? Blacks have been voting Democrat since 1936 because we stopped competing. Kevin? You know what, Sean? Everyone in this room, okay, a closed mouth has no voice. And we are going to raise our voices and be heard. Okay, I don't care when they call me names. It's a badge of daggone honor for me. Okay, I take it, twirl it around, and spit it, and do everything I have to do with it. If you call me Uncle Tom Seller, I know that I've won the debate. I know I've won the debate. My ideas are superior. But if you, if anyone else is criticized or called these names, they are either fired, condemned ostracized. That doesn't happen in this case. That's why. CJ, real quick, I want to get you in. Yeah. I think we will never get to the 40 percent of African American vote that we used to have when blacks voted for Republican. But will we now begin to compete street by street, block by block? And that's what the Growth and Opportunity Project was all about. And I think you're going to see that very soon. Earl, did we get you in? Earl, go ahead. Okay, we heard a lot of issues going on here. Now we need to talk to we need to talk to the thing about solutions. What can we do? Yeah. Number one thing we need to do: engage, 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 engage. All right, let me let me ask you a question. Only because we're out of time. Would you? Would everybody here be willing to come back yes. and talk oh, about yes. solutions yes. for oh, yeah. the problems in inner cities, black on black yes. crime, yes. Uh, yes. the yes. educational system that is harming yes. black yes. Americans? Discrimination. Yes. Yes. David. Yes. Black yes. Americans, yes. David. Yes. Uh, yes. Everybody will come back. Yes. We'll, do, we'll do another show. Yes. All right. We're out of time. All right. Thank you all. I'll give you all a big hand.